Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of my God 7 series. Today is all about flight log turbulence. Now, this one I was on the fence with. Uh, right now I would say it's 50-50 for me. Let me tell you what I really loved first. I love the energy and that is always... Um, on point when it comes to God 7, they always bring in the energy. I love the chemistry between the members. Uh, somehow they bring out the best in each other. And once again, this is another album where they truly showcase their skills. I love the singing. Um, the rapping is also really good on this one. But now the issue that I have with some of the songs on the album is that um, they were cool, but I was not crazy about them as much as I would like to. You know, there are some songs, you listen to them, and you can't even stop. You have to keep listening and listening. Other songs, you know, they're really cool songs, so you can listen to them from time to time. And I feel like with this album, some of the songs were cool, very cool, nice song. Um, the production is amazing. The melody is on point. It's just it doesn't hit as hard as others in the album. And something that I really take into consideration when I think about favorites and songs that I like on an album is the replay value. Like, am I might able to listen to the song multiple multiple times without getting tired of it or just not liking it anymore but unfortunately some of the songs on the album i like them as like a one soft like i can listen to them today then let some time go by listen to them but i have to be in a certain type of mood for me to enjoy them then other songs I really like beaten pieces of them where it will be like a chorus or a bridge or a verse but not the overall song so that's why I'm saying that right now I'm on the fence because there's a part of the album that I like a part of the album that I find cool but for now that will have to be it and then there's part of the album that I just like the end pieces of. But in those cases, what I like to do is let the album marinate for a little while, maybe a week or two, and then go back to it and listening and listen to it with fresh ears. Maybe my my with a brand new what what am I trying to say? Maybe with a brand new set of mind. I can um, appreciate the songs more. And from the very beginning, I've been very open with the fact that I'm a very moody listener. So sometimes I have trouble receiving some type of music, especially when I'm, I'm not in that particular mood, which is why even the albums that I don't enjoy as much as others, I keep listening to them because I know that things may change in the future. And also me not liking a song doesn't say anything about the the group or its talent. It's, it's very much so a subjective thing something that maybe for me may not be someone for someone else and what someone else loves may not be for me the boys are still going to be as talented as ever it's just we're not going to receive all the songs the same way so regardless of how i feel about some of the songs on this album i still appreciate the the work that went into it i still appreciate the vocals i still appreciate the rapping i still appreciate all those components that came into play for the song it's just that the end product is not hitting as hard as i would like to so for now, I would have to say that for me, this album, I'm on the fence 50-50. But I did say that there is part of the album that I like. And out of this part, there are two songs that really, really impressed me. 
And my number two is No Jam. All right. Hey, what the more your girl? Coggy, my go, yogi, do. Ne, you got your damn name, lo. Ne, for your door. Hey, the kids of Kaji, who chum beta, and no koyaki, hey. Get on and put a bow to my bad jack, do, um, jig, and sing, gag up, so. Yeah, me up, Jenny, me, wado. Hey, hey, talk it, I'm my, you can cheat, come on, son, the toy. Yeah. <laughs> second favorite no jam i love the song because of the energy i really love jackson's rapping on here i feel like is the voice really suited um this vibe and the way it came in oh my god <laughs> but like overall i really really love um the song because it is a contrast between those vocals and the vibe of the song so sometimes it will feel more in your face that it is and then the vocals will just kind of bring everything down and make everything a bit more softer and then you go right back into energy 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 and i really really like the song the dynamic the progression everything about it is super interesting now my favorite is dreaming mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
웃으면 뿜뻔 빠져있어 출구를 찾을 수가 없네 하지만 우린 걱정 안 해야 다른 차원으로 마치 우주 속 우리 거기서 제외 니 꿈꿔 오늘 밤날 내일 밤난 우리 둘이 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 너의 시간 표정 말투 내게 너무나 달달해 너의 패션 센스 모든 게 꿈에서 볼 만큼 하트해 시간이 멈춘 것 같아 꿈속에 갇힌 것 같아 내게 꽂힌 것 같아 I'm trapped in my dream 네가 걱정할 텐데 돌기라도 남겨야 할 텐데 내 기억은 점원 나겠어 난 눈을 살짝 감은 사이 눈꺼풀 자석부터 버린 사이 Blurred out but you come in into my side 꿈에서 깨고 싶진 않아 stay high 난네 꿈과 오늘 밤날 내일 밤난 우리 둘이 네 꿈과 오늘 밤날 내일 밤난 우리 둘이 네 꿈과 오늘 밤날 내일 밤난 우리 둘이 네 꿈과 오늘 밤날 내일 밤난 우리 둘이 Deep sleep good night 내 희미한 화면 속에 손 흔드는 네가 보여 꿈에서 나 웃고 있는 걸 보면 네가 좋은가 봐 alright 집에 들어가면 달라가 침대 위 올라가 본다 안 보고 슬리핑 필 먹은 것처럼 눈에 감자마자 너의 뒷모습이 보여 이모 드림 하루 종일 나쁜 일 생겼어도 오늘 밤 꿈에서 너를 보고 나도 몰래 눈 감고 미소 짓고 너도 내 꿈꿔 아마도 네 꿈꿔 오늘 밤날 매일 밤난 우리 둘이 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 난네 꿈꿔 오늘 밤날 매일 밤난 우리 둘이 네 꿈꿔 오늘 밤날 매일 밤난 우리 둘이 네 꿈꿔 오늘 밤날 매일 밤난 우리 둘이 네 꿈꿔 and that was my favorite song, Dreaming. Now, what I love about the song is the dynamic of it. Now, the song at some part feel that like it's on fast forward, which is such an interesting thing. And when it gets down to it, it's the way that they are singing. Because they're singing just a little bit faster than usual, it just feels like you are listening to it on fast forward. The first time I heard this song, I thought something was wrong with my player. And then I realized that, no, this is actually how the song is. So just just the way the song goes, it's already already has the shock value that just keeps you hooked. Then the song on, on its own is also amazing. The vocals are great. But once again, the rapping from Bam Bam and Jackson whoa <laughs> bias aside yes they are my biases but they really really suit this type of vibe really well i feel like you know bam bam and hype go together anything high energy mama bam, it just slides on the beat each and every time but what i love about god seven is they're so different from one another but at the same time they complement each other so well so in a song you see so many flavors because of the because of the seven of them and i really really like it i love the way that jb's singing will be completely different from young jays but when they both come on the track it just flows i love the energy the chemistry between them and just how i love their music because i feel like it's very unique to them they are one of those groups where even if people cover this song they will never be able to truly deliver that true god seven spirit because only the seven of them can give you that spirit specific energy that you get from their song and that's because they have reached a point where they understand each other and they just know how to create that magic and that's what the song is magic so even though i'm on the fence about this album 
but there were still many, many great moments here and there um, in the album, especially with those two songs. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up being your favorite, and if you want more, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe.